Okay, this is going to be a how-to video uh, repair on a little cassette, the mini DVD cassette. Typically you've seen the uh, YouTube uh, fixture on a little DV cassette, which is basically something like this. Um, on these you can uh, repair the tapes, which is something like this. You can repair these by taking these apart. And they have screws in the back of it. And these are going to be your, your JVCs and your Sonys have uh, four screws in here where you can take out the case and replace it and do the cutting and snipping and uh, do the splicing. However, on Maxwell, uh, these do not have the screws. Uh, the four screws here, these are all sealed. So on um, something like this, you're going to have to uh, get a Dremel. Uh, I've got a little Dremel here. And you're going to have to cut all the way around this thing to get into the tape and replace basically the, uh, the um, tape inside here and put it on to one where you can take apart uh, such as the JVC or Sony um, cassette, a DV cassette. Uh, some of the equipment you might need, of course, is going to be your scissors, a little screwdriver, uh, Preferably a cross point or whatever what would be a um, uh, that's going to be to open up these so that when you do replace the um, tape, you'll put it onto the JVC or a Sony. Again, a Sony has the screws in the back, so you can do that. Um, I'm going to use a little cutting wheel on the uh, Dremel to cut around basically all the way around to extract the tape. And uh, scissors again will be used to splice the tape once you cut it. And you will cut it at an angle as you've seen uh, so many YouTube there's a couple of in there where they talk about replacing that. You might refer to those uh, to get more detailed information about doing your cuts at an angle and uh, splicing it up with uh, scotch tape and you'll be using scotch tape. Uh, recommend using some safety glasses for uh, the cutting uh, so you didn't get any particles in your eyes or some kind of protective. Uh, so, so we're going to get started in cutting. Got a good cut all the way around. So here we go. You have to be careful not to go in too deep so that you don't destroy the tape. Patience. I have lots of patience with this. As you can see, I had to take off the little um, protective cover on that. Um, but you wanna, what you want to make sure you don't do is uh, you don't go all the way through. And then what I was uh, trying to use is this flathead uh, screwdriver is kind of pry it open. Uh, and it'll come open uh, so you don't, again, don't go all the way through so you don't destroy the tape on the inside. What you're going to run into is uh, I've been able to go all the way around. Uh, I had to pull the tape out so that you can, uh, uh, you have to come in there and cut in the inside of this uh, here because it's still sealed in here. So what you have to do is, um, there's a, um, a spring-loaded uh, little device here that you have to pull back on it. And this will allow the tapes to be free on the little wheels so that you can pull back on the tape as such. That's how you would rewind it. You'd have to uh, stick a uh, screwdriver in here in this little device here so that uh, releases the tapes or the tape heads or the sprockets. 
Okay, so what I did, I moved back the tapes. I had the leader going back and far enough so that uh, I was able to get inside this groove or inside this channel here without destroying the tape. All right. So now I should be able to pry it open. I think I've got enough so that it should come out. And it does. So, like, so here you have two little sprockets. And this is basically what we're going to, we're going to use. We're going to replace these onto a new uh, Sony or JVC device or any kind of DV cassette that has the screws that is, allows you to open them up so that you can replace the inside. Okay, so now we're going to disassemble this guy. I'm going to use the Sony uh, DV cassette that has the four screws in the back. So again, uh, if you look at one of the other uh, YouTube uh, procedures on how to take this apart, uh, you can go into, uh, he'll do a step-by-step, -step, but um, I'm just going to give you an overview. Basically, again, there's four screws on there, and you use a, a little jewel across Phillips screwdriver type and take them out. Okay, I've loosened them up, so basically all you have to do is just lift it straight up and take them up. And set the side aside. And let my screw come out. Set these aside. 